Ninja Kiwi just dropped update 35 today and there's a lot of new things to be excited about including the new Pat Fusty skin Kaiju Pat which is epic. It's one of my favorite skins. You should go out and buy it right now. Let me show you the transformation real quick. Level 1 is looking pretty good. I like his level 3. His level 10 is probably my favorite and the level 20 looks sick as hell. You should totally get this. Uh, unfortunately they nerfed Pat in this update which is kind of weird. To, you know nerf the skin that you're dropping but oh well he's still a great great hero in my heart we also got two new maps we got a beginner map middle of the road it kind of looks like end of the road it's a lot um you know it's more fun than end of the road uh but the new map that's really exciting is called dark dungeons it's an expert map we haven't had a new expert map in a long time and this one is probably one of the hardest because it has four exits and uh, I think four paths, uh, some of them overlap. It's a really interesting design, which I'll go over more uh, later in the video once I get to the gameplay. First, we should look at the shop. We have a new Blunarius avatar, a biker bones like placement animation, upgrade animation. We got the farm chicken profile banner, wizard lord profile banner, glue store profile banner. We got a banana farmer banner, a little monkey banner uh, <laughs> avatar. We also have the patch avatar but let's just look at the banners real quick in like their actual form since it doesn't give a good overview and oh my dang wait the artwork is actually really clean on these banners i don't know if they'll replace my ninja banner but definitely worth 300 those look sick all right anyways back to the rest of the update we got some uh we got some patch notes to go over starting off the new contested territory items which aren't technically uh balance changes and patch notes but since my game kept crashing when i tried to look at the team store i'm gonna count them into the patch notes section uh because i did manage to look at the profile avatars and banners for the contested territory uh i will unfortunately not be able to look at the cozy beanbag monkey but i'm sure he's a really cute addition to the team store what i did manage to look at were the icons so we got the bunny icon we uh, have the B emblem slash icon, and then the banners, you got like the year of the bunny, and then you have a summer kiwi background. Alright, now we can edit to the patch notes, and we're starting off with some, uh, just some general changes. So you now can uh, change your insta monkey rewards uh, to reflect the game mode you play for. So primary, military, magic only modes will now grant an insta monkey for that same category, which is pretty cool if you want to you know really get into the specifics of your insta monkey collections uh we're gonna have a damage done to pr bosses profile stat for your profile we're gonna have a jukebox shuffle option to the in-game pause menu with uh jukebox enabled songs that's gonna be cool and we're gonna have a spicy new indicator for the main background when a boss event is background that's super cool uh, we're gonna have a retry last round continue option for contested territory and boss with a monkey money cost and no bonus cash granted. I don't know what they mean by no bonus uh, cash granted, but I'm sure having just a retry last round for CT and bosses is gonna be a huge quality of life change. Uh, more co-op stability. I mean, anyone who's played co-op know that Ninja Kiwi servers are literally hot garbage. So I'm glad that we're going to see some stability improvements. So we have a bunch of bug fixes. I mean, yeah, that's cool. Um, but the other uh, main quality of life changes are the Elite Sniper having a uh, visual effect now that uh, when he loses a life, for his uh, four times attack speed buff, he's now gonna display that instead of just having no change. And then we're also gonna have a huge alchemist lead to gold buff, which is actually kind of nuts. So lead to gold, lead damage bonus will now uh, apply to the dread balloon uh, lead layer, which is actually insane. I guess that's gonna add an additional debuff tower if you're doing a dread balloon boss event. And then getting into the actual balance changes, the tier 5 Ultra Juggernaut is giving uh, a mini balls uh, ceramic damage bonus. Uh, it's going from 2 to 3, and the main projectile is now going to have bonus damage to lead. It's going to have plus 20 bonus damage. And then the Super Monkey Fan Club is actually getting a pretty big buff as well. With multiple ability uses, is no longer limited to 10 uh, max conversions. The bomb shooter has seen a few nerfs, which is fair, but you know, I love Recursive Cluster, it's sad to see. 
The second cluster pierce is uh, going from times six to times three for the tier four. And then the bonus damage to, uh, it's gonna get bonus damage to fortified balloons to make up for it. And then bomb blitz is gonna get plus five damage to fortified. And the tier four recursive cluster is only gonna get plus one. Now glue gunner is actually getting some mega buffs, like holy cow. So the balloon solver is now gonna destroy a balloon. It's gonna drop puddles of acid on the track that deal one pierce, but they do 20 damage to whatever it hits. And they said that they might lower the damage, but they might increase the pierce. They're still not sure, but I guess now tier five balloon solver is gonna get a little puddle of acid effect. Uh, glue splatter, the tier two middle, is gonna have a price reduction from 1800 to 1650, which is huge. Glue hose, the middle path is tier three, so the middle path is just getting price reductions all the way down. Tier three is going from 2900 to 2500. Uh, glue strike is going from 3850 to 3450. And then the tier five middle path got a huge buff, so the glue storm is gonna be from 15 seconds to 20 seconds for the ability. But then bottom path, uh, the first tier, it's gonna have the stickier uh, glue price is gonna be nerfed from 120 to 280. Relentless glue is no longer gonna drop any puddles on the track, which is the tier four bottom path. But however, they're gonna change it so when a glued layer pops, it's gonna stun balloons that are Moabs in the area with a small splat. And that's gonna have uh, three piers, 12 radius, and only half a second duration. And then the super glue, the tier five bomb path is also gonna have that, which is gonna be interesting to see. That's a pretty big rework for the glue monkey. It's gonna have those new cool effects, those splatter effects, and middle path just looks even better now. I can't wait to use the middle path for more boss runs. Sniper Monkey is also getting some interesting changes. So the top path tier four is gonna have the price increased uh, to, from 5,000 to 5,400. But in return, the tier five cripple Moab, the tier five top path is gonna be decreased from 34,000 to 32,000, which is interesting. And then supply drop um, Pierce is gonna remain the same at four, but the bouncy bullets is gonna get nerfed from four to three its pierce which is weird and then full auto rifle is actually going to have a big buff the moab damage is going to be increased from one to two and then the elite defender is just going to remain at two so i guess it's only just a buff to the full auto rifle this is pretty cool monkey sub the first strike um uh ability is going to have more splash damage radius it's going to get a 33 percent increase from 18 to 24 and then Monkey Buccaneer, this is huge. This is also probably one of the biggest changes. So the Navrick of the Seas Paragon is gonna buff the Monkey Ace attack speed, as it usually does, but it's now gonna apply to the Goliath Doom Ship, which is the Ace Paragon. So now we're gonna have Paragons buffing Paragons, which is nuts. Uh, so the Goliath Doom Ship price, of course, since it can now get buffed from the Bow Paragon to Consider that effect. They're gonna increase it from 800,000 to 900,000, which is insane. We're almost reaching the millions of dollars for Paragons now. The, the power creep is getting bigger, but I'm here for it, you know. Now, for the Heli Pilot, this is a little weird to me. I can't really tell if it's a nerf or a buff. I think it's a buff. I think it has more single target damage, so I'm gonna call it a buff. So the Comanche Defense Missile Pierce. The tier 4, it's going to be reduced like 20% to 80 instead of 100. But then it's also going to get the dart damage increase from 3 to 4. And then the tier 5, it's all tier 5 by the way for the for the buffs. The tier 4 was a nerf. But the tier 5 is only going to be buffed. Uh, it's going to be dart damage 3 to 4. Missile damage 3 to 7, which is insane. Double the damage there. Missile Moab bonus dam is going from 2 to 5. Wow, okay, that got more than doubled. The mini missile damage is also going to 2 to 5, and then the Moab bonus is also going to 2 to 5. Okay, so the tier 5 Comanche Commander is going to be cracked now. That's insane. That's like almost double damage for everything. Poor Dartley Gunner. The pierce for Buckshot got reduced 6 to 4, which sucks. But the balloon aerial denial system is now only going to cost 12,000. It used to cost 16,000, so that's pretty good. But then the Bez, the tier 5, is getting a $4,000 price increase, which sucks. Oh, let's see here. Wizard Monkey actually um, is going to get a pretty cool change um, uh, quality of life wise, but the arcane spike damage is getting increased by one. 
The Arcane Spike Moab bonus is getting reduced by one, so a little trade off there. Dragon's Breath is gonna <laughs> uh, attack, is gonna match the tower range properly. I don't know what that means. Maybe there's a bug there, but I guess it's getting a nerf. Uh, Monkey Sense is it gonna increase the range. That's cool. So it doesn't just give you camo detection, it gives you an increased range, kind of like the Dark Monkey, or like that. Shimmer range is gonna remain unchanged. That's fine with me. And this is the really cool part. Necromancer gains a spawn point uh, to target the zombie balloons, which is crazy. They're also adding another quality of life where Geraldo's temporary buffs are now gonna have a round timer next to it. So I'm just gonna put that up on the screen. Both of those changes are amazing quality of life. Uh, for Super Monkey, we're getting increased attack speed, which is cool for the base. Uh, the Plasma Blast attack speed is going to remain the same though. Robo Monkey is getting $1,000 off, which is cool. And then the Tier 5, the Anti Balloon, is getting uh, a ton more damage, double the ability damage, double the crit damage from the ability, and then the Pierce is going to get reduced to 2,000. But, you know, the damage is much more useful, I think. Grand Sabo is going to buff the Tier 3, the Middle Path Tier 3 Ninjas, by double. It's doubling the buffs, but still, I don't think anyone's going to be running Grand Sabo with a bunch of Tier 3 Middle Bad Ninjas, but, you know, they're giving their shot to buff it. Permabrew is cool. They acknowledge that you have to helicopter it around, so they increased the range by 20 on Permabrew, which is insane. And then they also made a Tier 4 Total Transformation. is going to have, uh, instead of 2 damage, 3 damage, which is like a 50% increase, which is pretty cool since no one uses that trash tower. Uh, they kind of nerfed Spirit of the Forest, sadly, but, you know, Spirit of the Forest is one of my favorite towers. It's been a little OP, so they're going to absolutely destroy the base attack damage. So it's went from 20, it's now at 6, which is brutal. But then the Bramble Vine refresh rate is getting uh, from 0.3 to 0.1, so it's almost triple the attack speed for the Brambles. And then the lifespan is getting doubled, so that's also pretty good. And then the close, like the really bright blue um, ring is going to have more Saram and Moab bonus damage. So it's more of a rework, I guess. But they did shred the base attack. It's, it's garbage now, but the vines are actually kind of buffed. So maybe it isn't that much of a nerf as I thought, but still, I think it's a pretty good rework. This is interesting, middle path farms are kind of getting a rework, but uh, so the monkey bank is not going to get cash generation buffs, which is good. The IMF loan is getting nerfed, which is going to, that's going to suck for like all the sweaty players that IMF loan farm. It's now going to grant $9,000 instead of 10. The backroom deals monkey dollage is going to reduce the loan bonus cash from 2000 to 1000 so yeah, IMF loaning. Uh, that just that strat might have just died I don't really know maybe it still works but that seems like a brutal nerf uh, the monkey Wall Street range uh, got 50% increase from 40 to 60 that's cool spike factory they absolutely went crazy with the spike factory the tier 4 spike mines has a radius increase for the explosions oh the the tier 5 super mines just got so many buffs i mean they also got the explosion radius increased the price got reduced by 25k the damage got doubled oh my god spike ceramic bonus with 20 to 30 mini explosions oh my god and now there's a big explode ceramic bonus which hasn't which hasn't existed and they immediately brought it from zero to 500 so Supermines is probably going to be an insane power. It already was an insane power, but now it's affordable and it's like basically doubled. That, that's insane. Carpet of Spikes, you know, is going to have um, Moab damage. It's going to go up by one uh, for the, pa the passive ability, just the regular attack and the ability. You know, try and make sure that people get the tier 5 instead of spamming tier 4s. I don't know if that worked, but it's cool to see that they added some Moab damage. Uh, the Call to Arms, this one's also a great quality of life. So instead of the Call to Arms ability only influencing uh, the monkeys within the radius, it has full map range just like uh, Homeland Defense, which is really cool to see. The Engineer, uh, one of the weird cross paths that no one ever uses, uh, the five 
The central champion with the bottom cross path is now getting a pierce increase from six to seven to try and make it more viable. It might work, but I still think everyone's gonna do five two zeros instead of five zero twos. And then the Ultra Bruce Tice, this is insane for boss runs. It went from 105,000 to 72. 33,000 price cut, that's the biggest this update. So I'm so happy to see the engineer get those buffs. Uh, now onto the heroes, uh, Gwendolyn price reduced from 900 to 725, that is huge. So glad to see Gwendolyn uh, cheaper, because 900 was always overpriced to start. Captain Churchill got a Pierce nerf, which is kind of weird. The explosion Pierce went from 15 to 12 for level one Churchill. That's a little weird, uh, but they nerfed him, and of course. My boy Pat Fusty, they nerfed his uh, slap knockback Pierce uh, on the day of his update too. Like that's just sad. They should have gave my boy mega buffs. Brickle gets nerfed. I don't know why they nerfed Brickle. There's only so many maps where you can use her, so this is sad to see. Her price is being increased from 750 to 900, which is a rip. And her ability cooldown for Blast Chain is down 15 seconds from 6 to 45, which is cool. But then they absolutely nerf her Moab Mine damage, but it gets more Pierce. So yeah, I guess it's a bit of a trade off there. 4,000 less damage, but 54 Pierce. It's a pretty good trade. Uh, Psy is getting a nerf, which sucks. I mean, I think Psy needed a buff. No one uses Psy. Only a, a few uh, dedicated individuals use Psy, and I applaud you, but. The rework is like, okay, so his attack speed is um, does not increase at level 2, but instead his bloom destruction rate gets increased, and I just don't know what's the difference between those two. This is like a very micro change. Like, I guess, sure, it doesn't get the attack speed, but it also gets the... I just, I don't get it. It's a very small tweak, a very small change. It's, it's weird, but I guess they did that just to just a troll. Um, it's like a very slight nerf. Uh, but speaking of pretty bigger nerfs, we're talking about the Lich boss. So tier 3 Lich, they said was pretty difficult. And I agree with this. So the normal Lich HP for tier 3 got reduced from 245,000 to 220,000, which is awesome. And then the mini Lich was reduced from 7,900 to 7,000. Love that change. Elite Tier 3 Lich has been reduced from 1.2 million to 1.1 million, which is nice to see. And then the Mini Lich for Elite is going to be reduced from 27,000 to 25,000. Love that change. Now for Blunarius, this is kind of interesting. So instead of bleeding ceramics uh, for Tier 4 Elite, it's going to bleed Moabs, which is nuts. And the Tier 5 Elite is going to bleed Instead of Boabs, it's going to bleed DDTs, which is going to be nuts. Like, Lunaris just got some insane buffs for Elite, which kind of makes up for the Lich uh, nerfs. And then Dreadbloom got a buff. They they made him slightly faster during his Rock Shield phase. They only made him, like, from 0.2 to 0.3 and 0.2 to 3.5 for Elite. But still, I just don't think it's fast enough, man. Dreadbloom is just way too slow. And yeah, those are the patch notes. Whew. Okay, that was a ton of patch notes, but like I said, this is a huge update. I mean, a lot of good changes, lots of good quality life changes this update, but I just want to take a look back at the map because while I was editing this video, a lot of new things have been found. So luckily, we know how many farms we can place. In the top left corner, we can put three farms. Bottom left corner, we can place two. In the middle compartment we can also place two and then in the top right we can fit one farm and then if you use the ice monkey for the water you can also fit maybe one more if you want to do that in the bottom right but there has also been found a secret in this map where if you take the left candle and the right candle and press on them spikes will rise up in the top left and top right corners and then while those spikes are up or when the candles are empty, you can click on the above statue and you can activate that statue for 50 grand, which is actually a really good deal. And then this like ball of cir like this light ball circle will like fly around the map and just insta kill Moabs and balloons, which is just an amazing, like one of the coolest secrets I've ever seen in a map. So definitely one of my favorite maps, definitely one of my favorite hero skins. And yeah, update 35 is live. Uh, I hope you enjoyed all the review I had for it today. I think it, it, 
it deserves like a 9 out of 10. I like this update a lot. So yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good night, everyone, and peace.